All right, guys, we are rolling up to Cage Innovation right now. You're seeing it live. About to pick up this plow. Let's see what the guys have to say. It is bright out, so we got the PJ on. You guys can see this thing is that was trapped, so <laughs> it's rusty. So let's get in there. Let's check out this new plow. I am super excited to see this thing. Um, Ryan's gonna be running it over in Woodbury. I'm excited to run a brand new plow. Yeah, it's got nothing but the best equipment. He's got a brand new K skid loader. He's got a brand new freaking plow now. He's brand new here, so <laughs> I, just, I don't know how he ends up with all the good stuff. Check this out. Looks like somebody's picking up or dropping off something. All right, so at Cage, this is um, so we process all of our own tubing and flat angle and things like that. And this is where we store it. So this is kind of everything starts right here. So it starts right comes here. in on the truck and then starts here. Comes in on a truck and we make kind of a U-shape in our production workflow, okay. right? So it's all designed around the products that we build. We don't, we're not a job shop, we're an OEM, so we're designing and building yeah. our process right around the products that we make. And we're always trying to figure out better ways to make our product, just like we do trying to figure out better ways to plow snow. But you also have to be very efficient, cost sensitive, oh, yeah. cost uh, conscious when you're talking about your workflow because every step that you make in the wrong direction is going to cost money. So it starts with raw material, cutting it to length and the different pieces you need, then putting the holes into it. Yep. And then from there, we keep moving. We keep we moving. The street. Yep. I passed the R&D department. We can't skip that. Is this R&D? Maybe yep. we have to skip this. This is top secret. <laughs> Don't show anybody. Well, we haven't talked much about the wing yet. Can but we? We're testing now. We're, we're testing stuff on that, so we can't. Yes. We're gonna talk about it off the record. <laughs> so we'll see you guys two seconds down here. Of the product, trying to clean it off and make sure that there's no missing welds. And you know, they kind of keep an eye on our welding staff too. So if a welder starts to get out of line with his booger welds, then uh, these are the that. first guys to call it out. So stuff like this here has been ground down, it looks like. I don't think this has been touched yet. It hasn't? Oh, this has. This has? Looks like you started and then went to something else. You know, probably because Carson arrived. I was going to say. As soon as we showed up, Mike goes, shut it down, shut it down. And it's going to make too much noise in the background. So we just screwed up production for the day. Sorry, guy, you won't get your snow plow anymore. Yeah, that's you can blame that on me. Send me the bill for the late fee. <laughs> yeah. All right, how much to pull the white trailer out there in? What's well, that? How much to pull the white trailer in and blast it off before we leave? Uh. <laughs> she needs a fresh coat of paint. It's looking pretty rough. I wouldn't want to lose all your stickers. Yeah, I've already got them. Yeah, yeah. wash it. Purple mint. So is this, this stuff happening at the same time? No, no, this is probably not So four cars came, Joe was going to blast this stuff for us. Yeah, shut it down for Shut it down. Uh, but no, so we blast for a couple reasons. Uh, one is to remove the mill scale. So anything that's hot rolled, it's got this darker finish on it. It's kind of mill scale. Yep. That's what they call that. Uh, so we want to get rid of that. Because uh, power coat won't stick to that, and eventually that can start to lift in and of its own, so that would just cause separation. Uh, secondly, is to remove any laser scale. So laser scale, uh, the cheapest, cheaper process of laser scale will leave a carbon edge on the parts. So we want to remove the carbon 
Um, again, so that you know the paint is adhering right to the steel, not to yeah. a, a thin layer of carbon. And then third, just to create a profile. So we can, when we go over there, you'll see the profile that's left by the sandblasting. Yep. But we're creating what we call a mechanical adhesion, so that there's a you know tiny little mountains and valleys that the yep. paint can kind of grab onto. Yep. Uh, so that's critical for a powder coat process to have all those. I would assume it creates more surface area because of those yep. mountains and valleys yep. that grab onto. Yep. So that's why. On a, on a molecular molecular yep. level, it's creating way more surface area to yep. Yep. So this is a, after the sandblasting has happened. Yep, so you can feel the profile. It's kind of rough, almost like grit. Sandpaper. Yeah, it feels like sandpaper. Yeah, yeah exactly. You can see it. Back so to, this is what we came here to do. Besides everything else, what we came here to pick up. The brand new, the brand new lineup that Mike's offering. Stainless steel, moldboard, custom decals. Look at that. And Carson's gonna come here and build them. And I'm gonna come build, I'm gonna come sandblast or buff out the whole front. So let's tell them the backstory on this. When we wanted a plow, we talked about wanting to do something super cool. And obviously, I mean, we got really unique here. Stainless steel, what was the issue? I'll actually throw the picture in it. What was the issue we found out with the stainless steel? Well, we knew right off the bat that, you know, since we're welding stainless to carbon yeah. steel, like these are, this is carbon steel. When we're I said the have, issue we found out, the issue Mike found out. When I we were gonna have some issues, you know, welding this, but then not having it rust. Um, so in the process of that, we also had a little bit of spatter that got stuck to the stainless as well from the top. So we're welding this complete seam up here and a few of the spatter BBs were stick to the stainless. So then we had to try to remove those. Yeah. Well, chisels and stuff didn't remove it very well. Yeah. So then we took sandpaper to it and that's when we started to kind of rough the surface up before it was nice and shiny. <laughs> um, you know, 304, yeah. number four polish. So. Yeah. Um, so it got rough, and then we had to try to repolish it again after that, and then we finally ended up clear coating. So now we've still got a stainless steel moldboard um, by all the yeah. aspects, but it's got a clear coated finish so that any of the welding up here doesn't start to rust later on. Yeah. And then Carson's cool detail design. Oh, who designed that anyway? Well. So the backstory is, my girlfriend Cleo actually drew it up on an iPad, that initial sketch I sent you, and then we sent it to Paul, which we'll do a different video of where he installed the decal, and he actually did it on the vector file and actually built it up from there. So, kind of a team effort on that one. Pretty cool. Yeah, it turned out good. So are you still gonna clear coat on top of this? No, I don't think so. I, I, he was saying, he said something about clear coat on like the sticker, like they put a wrap over the decal too, so they're super thick decals. Yeah. I mean, if you like actually pick at it too, it's not, I mean, I don't think it's coming off anytime soon, quite yeah, frankly. It's, it is pretty so thick. it's actually pretty good on there. But, I, and he thought so too, it should last a while, he was saying. Good. So hopefully it does. But then we got the actual cage box over here. We did a custom custom paint job there as well. We like to have everything custom. Every, it's gotta be cool. Gotta have something cool. Everything we do has got, it's either got different wheels on it, it's got <laughs> some different decals on it. We gotta do something cool. So, I think you guys should change the whole, is this a lot to do? I mean, does it take a lot to do that? Or uh, probably a different layer of paint or something? It was, a, yeah, it was a challenge too. Well, but I, I like the color scheme. I like it too. Yeah. I like it a lot. Yeah, we have, we've had a few compliments on it, you know. You're probably not the first one to actually see this. <laughs> There's been other people. No, really. Everyone else has seen it before. Hey. All right, let us know in the comments down below. What do you guys think of this color scheme? We gotta talk Mike into changing all the plows to it because then I can say, that was my idea every time I see one. <laughs> Get down in the comments, let us know. <laughs> yeah, I like it. It turned out super well.
All right, guys, we just got out here on site. This is like 11, 12 acre site that the TV 450 is at. Ryan runs that, and we just got the plow. We're dropping it off. We're swapping it out with the eight foot plow over here. Just updating it, and the eight foot's going back to Stillwater. So. Look at that shiny blade. I like that. That thing is badass. Yeah, a little chilly. I usually try and give about a half hour to warm up my feet at run time before I really get on. got what appears to be a different coating on it, black instead of like the raw metal finish. We'll see if that performs better and lasts longer. All right guys, so that is pretty much gonna wrap up this video, just dropping it off here. Huge thanks, huge, huge, huge thanks to the guys up at Cage. They did such a good job on this. Honestly, I know this thing was a total pain in the butt with the stainless and just a learning curve because it's something they haven't done before. So I really appreciate all the hard work all the guys up there put into this to get this thing done. Uh, you're gonna see a lot of this and a lot more videos. We're gonna be doing a comparison with the Advantage versus um, this just a normal cage plow or any, you know, just normal straight blade plow basically. Um, just kind of side-by-side -side comparison showing you how much better the Advantage scrapes. Just talking about all that stuff, the differences and the benefits of going with something like that. This plow right now that we just got, um, it's pretty much top of the line. It's the, the best thing. Uh, best thing they offer. So, we will see you guys next time on the next video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. It is cold. It's cold. We got more snow coming this weekend, so stay tuned.